If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, as well as follow me and subscribe to me on all my other social media platforms. <laughs>
as well as the following track, Necropolis of Obsidian Mirrors, you get this like really nasty, grimy breakdown that gets followed up with tremolo melodies. And then, actually, probably one of the most unique breakdowns, I'll, I'll actually save that for when we talk about the last track, but... Abhorrence Evangelium also brings in this like cool chug pattern that trades off with these like crawling tremolo riffs. Now with Necropolis of Obsidian Mirrors, this song is the closest you get to Immolation. Like it starts off with this like gross build up in the riffs with these dissonant melodies that again brings in that Immolation vibe. And then this was the other song where you get that like mid-tempo stomp that feels like Bolt Thrower. And then, probably one of my favorite moments on the entire album is this big triplet chug that just kind of comes in out of nowhere. And it feels like a great Morbid Angel triplet chug that's just ugh, nasty and brutal. Almost like as if you... Uh, <laughs> uh, almost like as if you're watching a NASCAR crash and you're just fascinated by the destruction within that crash. And also within this song, you get this like haunting doom moment where it gets really atmospheric and eerie. And then Scorn Manifestation. Um, yeah, Manifestation. I don't know why. I want to say Manifestation. I don't know why. I'm tired because I actually woke up from a nap not too long ago. But Scorn Manifestation, this is one of the more thrashy tracks in the album. Like top to bottom mostly like that thrashy death metal dare i say it's close to like classic florida death metal but i thought it sounded pretty close to blood red throne like modern blood red throne from like the self-titled to imperial congregation like it has that vibe where it starts off with this like thrashy death metal and then it gets amped up with the blasts and the triplet chugs that's going on quick dive bomb even comes in you get another Bolt Thrower Stomp, and then some more incantation vibes towards the end with the apocalyptic tremolo riffs. Now, Interminable Rebirth of Abomination. I know this album, for the most part, is mostly dark, not so much evil. This is the most evil song on the entire album. Starts off with this like really nasty build-up with these dissonant tremolos that brings back that immolation vibe. And it builds up really well with, like, these faint chants. There was even some faint chants on Scorn Manifestation, but these chants were definitely more in the background. And then you get this, like, sudden galloping rhythm, almost like a death metal Iron Maiden again. But it leads into a nice melodic lead before you end off with a nice triplet chug. And then the closing track, Drowned. So yeah, this is only six tracks, and Drowned is the longest song in the album at ten minutes. Man, there's a lot going on. Starts off with a clean guitar melody with eerie ambience. Doomy apocalypse going on. Then you get more of those Morbid Angel vibes return. Crawling tremolos. It gets thrashy again. Nice breakdowns and dissonance. And this one breakdown you get on this track feels more close to hardcore than death metal, which is pretty interesting. Another harmonized lead, which was really tasteful. And then I love how you get towards the end of the song where you get this like atmospheric death doom section. And it sounds like that's going to be the end of the song and then it's just going to fade out with like ambient noise. Suddenly out of nowhere, big blast beat and tremolo riffs that fade out to the end and that's how we end it. So as far as the production, I love the production. It's grimy, but the mix is pretty solid. Like you could still get the bass in the mix, which is nice. Nothing's too compressed, which is really cool. Now, any complaints that I have, probably the most minor of grievances is that whenever they get into these like apocalyptic or crawling tremolos, they can kind of be indistinct. Like there's some that stand out, others they kind of feel very similar. So they kind of go into that well a little bit often, but it doesn't matter because even if they're indistinct, they sound cool. So overall, this album has made my album of the year list even tougher. I'm giving this 9.5 out of 10. I think this is a fantastic album, and I probably at some point need to go back and listen to the debut. 
because Crucimentum, I was um, I was pretty impressed for my first ever listen to these guys. I loved what I heard. So yeah, 9.5 out of 10. And of course, that does it for my review of Crucimentum's Obsidian Refractions. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, keep your horns high and your dreams wet.